Thanks for joining Uncomplicated Math, where here we have a math problem that we're going to work through together and go over a common mistake that some people make when solving problems like this. So the problem that we have is 3 plus 3 minus 3 plus 3 times 0. So when solving this, a lot of people will just solve this from left to right. So they'll add 3 plus 3, which gives us 6. And then they'll subtract 3 from 6, which we know is going to give us 3. And then they're going to add 3 onto that 3, which is going to give us 6. And then they're going to multiply that 6 by 0, which is going to give us 0 for an answer of A, 0. But if we solve this problem in this way, we're going to get the incorrect answer because we didn't follow the order of operations here. So let's go ahead and try this problem out, and this time we're going to follow the order of operations to see if we get a different answer. So our original problem was 3 plus 3 minus 3 plus 3 times 0. So when we're solving a problem like this that has multiple operations within the same problem, we need to make sure that we're following the order of operations. And over on the left-hand side here, we can see the acronym PEMDAS, which stands for the order of priorities when solving problems just like this. Well, the P in PEMDAS stands for parentheses, and the E stands for exponents, and we don't have either one of those, so we're going to move on to the priority of multiplying, and we do have some multiplication here, so we're going to start out by solving our multiplication part of this problem. So we're going to multiply 3 times 0, which we know gives us 0, and then we're going to bring down the rest of this problem. So we have 3 plus 3 minus 3 plus 0. So since we don't have any multiplication to deal with, nor do we have any division, we're going to move on to our last priority of adding or subtracting. And since adding and subtracting are the same priority, we're going to solve from left to right. So first, we're going to add 3 plus 3, which we know gives us 6. Then we're going to bring down the rest of the problem. So we have minus 3 plus 0. So now we're going to subtract 3 from 6, which we know is going to give us 3. And then we're going to bring down our plus 0. And when we add 3 plus 0, we get 3. So that means that our answer is B, 3. So as we can see with these examples here, it's crucial that we follow the order of operations when solving problems with multiple operations because otherwise we're not going to get the correct answer. If you enjoyed this video, then please smash those like and subscribe buttons. As always, enjoy today's math journey.